the Zero Division or the Royal Guard, whatever you want to call them, their introduction into the story was one of the most highly anticipated reveals within the entirety of Bleach. This secret organization works directly under the Soul King and the Royal Family. Their command and authority far exceeds that of the Gote 13. In this video, we're going to be talking about everything that we know about Squad Zero. We're going to be covering its leader, Ichibe, as well as talking about his subordinates, Kiryo, Senjumaru, Tanjiro, and Uetsu. So let's break down and analyze every Everything that we know about this secret organization, including its purpose, history, what Kubo had foreshadowed about the Zero Division prior to the Thousand Year Blood War arc, and ultimately the role that each of the members of the Zero Division played into the formation of the Gotei 13, as well as each of the creations that these Zero Division members were responsible for. For example, how Oetsu Nimaya is the father of the Zanpakuto, as he was responsible for their creation. So without further delay, let's get into my explanation of the Zero Division. Before the video begins, only 20% of the people who actually watch my content are subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy these videos, then subscribe and stick around for more content just like this. Now let's get back to the topic of the video. On page 98 of the Bleach Character Databook Souls, we are shown a diagram which illustrates the hierarchy of command within the Soul Society. We learn that the highest authority is given to the Royal Family. They control all of the Soul Society. The Royal Family is not to be confused with the four great noble families of the Soul Society. They are two separate entities. We know that its members are the Kuchiki family and the Shihoin family, and that the Shiba family used to be among their ranks, but they are now no longer regarded as a noble family. Now, the royal family that controls all of the Soul Society has its own special organization that serves directly under it. Within the Bleach character data book Souls, it describes the Zero Division as an organization that has a considerable amount of fighting, organizational, and executive power compared to the other organizations like the Gotei 13. I want to now go over all of the instances that the Zero Division are mentioned prior to their introduction within the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Now, fascinatingly, the first time that the Zero Division are actually referred to is as early as Chapter 48. When a Menos appears within the World of the Living, Rukia has a startling reaction to it, as she explains that it's a giant hollow that has been formed from hundreds and hundreds of ordinary hollows. She elaborates that when a Menos appears, it is the duty of the Royal Special Task force in order to deal with it. We learn that this special task force have abilities that are far beyond that of a Soul Reaper. Now, in this early instance, she mentioned that it's the Zero Division's job to slay Menos, but we know that captains of the Gotei 13 are easily able to perform this task, so we don't really know the exact circumstances for when the Zero Division actually get involved with Menos Grande. The next time that they are brought up is within Chapter 223, when Head Captain Yamamoto reveals to Team Hitsugaya Aizen's true motive which is to create the Oken. The Oken is referred to as a royal key, and we learn that the Soul Society has its own royal family, and they have given permission to the Central 46 to run the Soul Society. The royal family never interfere with the operations of the Gotei 13, and nobody who resides within the Serite has seen them. The head captain elaborates that the Soul King is a symbolic yet highly respected figure within the Soul Society. In addition to this, the royal palace exists in a different dimension to that of the Soul Society and it is the duty of the Zero Division to guard the Royal Palace. We learn that the Oken acts as a key to open the gate to the Soul King's Palace, a dimension that is inaccessible to even the highest members of the Gotei 13. In Chapter 519, we learn that each of the members of the Zero Division have the powers of the Oken imprinted into their bones by the Soul King. So in addition to these two brief mentions within the manga, the Zero Division is once again brought up within the Turn Back the Pendulum arc, as Urahara takes up the position of a captain, replacing Kiryo Hikifune, who was recently promoted into the Zero Division. The Zero Division is mentioned as a secret organization. Very little is known about their history, and even the existence of the Zero Division is not commonly known amongst the Shinigami. The Zero Division has five members, the first being its leader Ichibe, who has the rank of the leader of the Zero Division. He was given the title of the monk who calls the real name by the Soul King. Ichibe is responsible for choosing the names for everything within the Soul Society. This includes the naming of Shikai and Bankai, as well as the name for the Zanbakdo. The next member is Tenjiro Kurinji, who has the position of the first officer of the Zero Division. He is also referred to as the Holy Guardian of the East. Like some of the other members of the Gotei 13, Kurinji used to be a former captain of the Gotei 13. In Chapter 517, we learned that he was responsible for teaching healing to Unahana, and we know 
that she is regarded as the greatest healer within the Soul Society. The next member is Kiryo Hikifune, who appears to have two forms, a bulked up form and a slimmer form. She is referred to as the second officer of the Zero Division and holds the title of the Ruler of Grain. In chapter 521, it is revealed that she was the inventor of the artificial soul. These are the candy-like orbs that we see Rukia regularly use in order to force her soul out of her gigai. The artificial soul ends up taking control of the body, and another notable example of an artificial soul is the mod soul Khan, who inhabits the body of a stuffed animal. Each artificial soul has its own personality. Because of Kiryo's invention, she was recognized by the Soul King, and it is for this reason that she was promoted into the Royal Guard. This had occurred about 110 years prior to the present timeline of Bleach. When Renji and Ichigo arrive at her palace, she reveals why she is the ruler of the grain. As she insists on the two of them being fed, she gives them a lot of food as she explains that her food is imbued with Reatsu. This is similar to the soul candy that she has created for her artificial souls. She elaborates that every member of the Zero Division had invented something that had influenced the Soul Society, and this perfectly leads us to the Zero Division's third officer, Owetsu Nimaya. He is the Divine General of the West and is referred to as the God of the Sword. In chapter 521, we learn that Owetsu Nimaya has been credited with creating the Zanbokdo, a significant contribution that the Soul King had recognized and as a result had promoted him into the Zero Division. Now we all know the significance of the Zanbokdo and it is fascinating to learn more about the individual who had invented them. And last but not least, the final member of the Zero Division is Senjumaru Shutara. She is the fourth officer of the Zero Division, being referred to as the Divine General of the North. She was given the title of the Great Weave Guard by the Soul King. After Renji and Rukia recover from their injuries, they arrive at her palace and she takes measurements of them. Through this, we learn that Senjumaru was responsible for inventing the Shinigami Shihakusho, and the Shutra scale that the Soul Society's Research and Development Institute utilize is actually named after her. And we know that this scale assesses the level of alert that the Soul Society is currently under. Senjumaru utilizes her fabrics in order to sew uniform, but she can also manipulate the cloths in order to fight. A lot more is revealed about each of the members of the Zero Division within the 13 Blades character data book, but unfortunately it isn't translated into English, and you can only find some fan translations of it online. The Zero Division has its own unique insignia that sets it apart from the different divisions of the Gotei 13. As a small group of five members, all of them were former captains, and the combined power of all five of them is greater than the entirety of the Gotei 13. A lot of people have this complaint that if the Zero Division was present, then why didn't they get involved with the battle between Aizen and his Arunka? This is because the purpose of the Zero Division is to serve the royal family, and they do not interfere within the affairs of the Gotei 13. It is not their job to defend the Soul Society. Now, if Aizen was successful in creating the Oken, and he had crossed through dimensions and entered into the Soul King's palace, then that would be a different situation, and the Zero Division definitely would have gotten involved to take Aizen out. Each of the members of the Zero Division have their own palace within the Soul King's Palace. We see these different domains during the Thousand Year Blood War arc, where we see Ichigo, Renji, Rukia, and even Byakuya recover and prepare to face off against the Quincy. When the Royal Guard first appear within the manga in Chapter 516, they travel from the Soul King's Palace on a huge pillar, which is called the Tenchuren. Now, funnily enough, the Tenchuren does not have the ability to return to the Soul King's Palace on its own, and it is for this reason that they rely on Kukakushiba's cannon in order to launch it back. We also know that Uwetsu Nimaya has the ability to open a portal within the Soul King's palace that can send somebody back to the human world, as he does to Ichigo when he fails his training. Now, despite all of this hype and explanation, the Zero Division were taken out fairly easily by Yuhabak and his Sternritters, and their lackluster performance disappointed a lot of fans, including myself. Now, there are a lot of fascinating moments during Ichibe's battle against Yuhabak and Uwetsu Nimaya's battle against the Sternritters, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, I do wish that we had seen more of the other members, because Ichibe and Nimaya are the only ones that are memorable in my opinion, and I think that they had made an impactful impression throughout their appearances within the story, but I don't think that the other members of the Zero Division were as memorable. Now, throughout the battles that they had with the Quincy, the Zero Division did demonstrate incredible feats, like Senjumaru's speed, or how Kiryo Hikifune was able to cage the Quincy, and not to forget the incredible abilities of Ichibe, and the jaw-dropping swordsmanship of Nimaya. 
but it leaves much to be desired when Kubo had just decided to let them get beaten by the Quincy, especially after hyping them up for so long. So now I've reached the point of the video where I hand over the discussion to you guys. What did you think about the Zero Division and their appearances within the manga? Now this is actually the first dedicated video that I've done on the Zero Division, and in the future I do want to do character analysis videos on each of its members, and I'll try to go through fan translations of the 13 Blades character data book, and try to piece together as much information as we can about each of its members. So let me know if you do want to see character analysis videos on each of the Zero Division members, and if you want me to analyse and break down the battle between Ichibe and Yuhabak. There are still a lot of fascinating conversations that we can have about the Zero Division, and we can start getting hyped for their introduction within the Thousand Year Budwa arc anime, which I'm hoping actually expands upon their characters, and extends their fight scenes, and slightly changes how they were defeated within the story. Because I feel like the way that they were taken out doesn't match up with our expectations of this powerful group of individuals. So yeah, what did you think about the Zero Division? What did you like or dislike about them? Definitely continue the discussion in the comments, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach Explained video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.